Do you all use a lot of mods in Kerbal Space Program? Some people enjoy the stock game, but with the very interesting release of KSP2, many might still be using mods in KSP1. Also, many people have asked for mod lists in my videos. I posted them on the community, but I was concerned that people couldn't understand exactly what they do. So, I decided to create a new series that reviews mods, introducing Kerbal Space Program. Very normal mod review. Let's get the show started. is a mod beloved by typical KSP players. I finally locked onto the radar. I should fire a missile. Dang. What's this sound? Oh, this mod offers you a new KSP experience. Also, to support BD Armory's excellent combat, use the Physics Range Extender mod. You can extend the physics range as much as you want. Strike the KSC from beyond 500 kilometers. Seamlessly. Conformal decals help you create cool decals on your crafts. It's really fucking good. Try it. Chatterer Extended gives you a more lively KSP experience. Hmm. I got a new message. Hawk 1 evade! Aircraft carrier accessories provide you with aircraft carriers and carrier parts for your KSP war experience. But yeah, carriers are slightly conflict with bar. So, I use the next mod. Carrier Vessel Expansion offers Nimitz-class aircraft carriers and functions like lifts and deflectors found on real aircraft carriers. You can also operate your aircraft carriers using parts from aircraft carrier accessories. Additionally, use Kerbal Joint Reinforcement to prevent heavy parts like aircraft carriers tear apart due to the KSP crack and drive. The automated aerial refueling system provides you with aerial refueling experiences. Nice work, Crusader 1. Procedural wings offer a new experience while destroying your stock wing clipping career and making you obsessively react to seamless connections between all wing parts, turning you into a perfectionist with OCD. Oh, of course, there's procedural parts too. Who wouldn't love offset capable full custom liquid fuel tanks, right? There are also several mods to enhance your KSP OCD experience. Tweetscale offers size adjustments for most parts and adjusts the fuel accordingly. This progresses ongoing OCD to severe levels. Partango Display is a mod that shows the angles between parts. It's for those who think that even a slightly tilted angle can have a small impact on the aircraft and affect its final performance. Phew, there we go. Chrono Vessel Viewer satisfies your engineering desires and provides orthographic view and blueprint images to upload on the Kerbal Space Program forum. And... Oh no. Burham Aerospace Research provides an enhanced KSP flight experience. Watch as your crafts get shredded when they attempt ace combat physics. Now, your craft's shape affects actual flight. Boxes can't just fly in the sky anymore. Rockets with cones attached are better for fuel efficiency. And those complex panels. Here is small tips. Green is good. And that's all most of our players think about. And stall, 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 stall. Ah, uh, very elegant. I have to go pee pee. <laughs> Free IVA 
offers you the experience of wandering inside your craft, moving between connected parts, and performing various operations in this state. It also includes cute animations. By the way, what's this sound? GPWs is great when you want your craft to react a bit more realistically and immediately. Yes, it really helps. Is something crashing right now? I'll turn on the front camera. Oh. Rasterprop Monitor enhances your IVA experience. Whether it's in a fighter jet, rocket, or ground vessel, enhance your IVA experience. It's done through RPM patches of each modder, so you can insert as much as you want. So when will it be compatible with b Darmory? Hull Cam B's continue adds multiple external cams. When used with RPM, it provides a safer KSPI VA experience. Vessel Viewer Continued shows real-time information about your craft status. Now you can see which parts are destroyed from the inside of IVA, even while crashing. Sir, we have been hit. Damn. Target eliminated. Mission successful. Probe Control Room Recontrol offers your successful killer drone and UAV experience in the IVA environment. Now sit in this room and control the drone. Dominate, Kerbin. Oh, my goodness. I need to go make a new drone. See you in the next episode, too. Well, then, see you next time.